Hello everyone, how's it going? Happy Thursday, happy Game Awards Day. I know that I am pretty excited because they announced Death Stranding 2. And... Oh boy. Another Death Stranding. Hello Ocean, hello Cat. How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh my goodness, Death Stranding 2. I'm, I'm so ready. I don't know what it's going to be like or anything else. But um, I'm always prepared for another one of uh, Hideo Kojima's wild rides. Gotta get a release date so I contribute to the Stroke of Stranding 2 fun. Oh no, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm really, really hoping I don't have to buy a PS5. Like, I'm hoping it's not PS5 exclusive, like the first Death Stranding was, where it was, like, exclusive to um, the PS4 for, like, a year, and then they eventually ported it over to PC. It would be extremely cool of Sony to release it simultaneously on the PC, but I'm not hopeful. BB grown up? Yeah, BB, like, BB had, like, a head of hair. And then, um, I'm pretty sure, like, it was fragile, uh, holding on to the baby. Except it looks like they de-aged her. So, I don't know if, like, curing the Death Stranding, like, cured, um, her aging, or if Sam just had an idea one day of just spraying her down with a thing of container re uh, repair spray. Excited to see what the story is behind it. Oh my god, same. There's, like, a Metal Gear or something that's rising from the tar. It's It could go so many ways. The new villain, who's, like, you can see their their organs. Like, you can see, like, their intestines moving around in their transparent body. That's so weird. That's so cool. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, but, yeah, I really hope I don't have to buy a PS5. And a goopy stomach. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be... I, I think it's going to be pretty good. Although, it'll be really curious to know, like... Like, I mean, I guess like, they could write whatever, but... There won't be any ghosties, because we... Like, you cure the, the Death Stranding, essentially. At the end of Death of 1. So, I'm really curious to know, like... What's going to replace it? We go, yeah, we ghost best of the world. Like, the rain doesn't hurt you, the ghosties aren't out to get you, so... I'm really curious if they'll just kind of go, like, uh, ghosties are back on, sorry. Yeah, the red cultists, I guess, are going to be, like, the new, like, demons or whatever. And I'm assuming there's something where Lou, Lou, the, Lou is a special baby, and they need her special baby powers to do something i don't know but um obviously you never know with a kojima game so i i don't want to spend too long um thinking like i don't want to spend too long speculating on it because I, it could just really go anyway anywhere her special baby powers i don't know maybe she's got special best special death stranding blood or something anyways I hope you are ready for some Star Wars Squadrons. It is time you have gathered powerful munitions and lured the New Republic fleet away from the Nadiri Dockyards. Titan Squadron will lead the strike, attack the Nadiri Dockyards, and destroy the Starhawk. It's time. It's time to blow this thing up. Let's talk. If we must. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next. I really love just how every single one of the Imperial pilots is awful, but like in a unique and terrible way. 
Sol is like just in it as a career opportunist, and then everyone else is in it for like their own terrible reasons. They remind you that the Imperials are not the good guys, and for that I am eternally grateful. Hey, do and Gerald. We should begin the briefing. There's my man. Our diversion was a success. Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. <laughs> Post Endor Empire kind of lost all their decent people. I mean, I get the feeling that like none of them were decent. There was just enough of a command structure to keep them all like in line and working towards the same ish goals. And then now with the Emperor out of the way, everyone's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I can make my own power play and, you know, like do things my way. So, on to Nadire. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Beradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Beradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Mm -hmm. Either would be quite devastating. Well, I'm sure. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The rebel's squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. Before us is a historic victory, if we have the metal to seize it. The Beradium, the Overseer, even our TIE fighters are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains. And the Starhawk. No doubt the Rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what Alberadium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. Okie dokie. Uh... Oh, yeah, we got some people to talk to. It's gonna go great, no doubt, yeah. It's clear the captain trusts you. Leading the Beradium strike against the Starhawk is a big responsibility. You've more than proved you're capable. Agreed. The path has been long, but I'm proud to fly with both of you. What's next? After the war? I've been at this a long, long time. I'll retire. Maybe somewhere quiet, near the water. My husband would be happy anywhere without Dura steel walls at this point. What about you, Shen? This is what I do. I'm needed here. War or not. Fair enough. Time to go.
it is interesting that they make a point of like gray is like married to a, a guy and it's like that's not a problem in the empire or at least i don't think traditionally is i'm sure i'm sure some some materials would have it but it's really the empire has always been more of like humans rule everything else rules and if you're a human you know like you can kind of be whatever you want You know this attack is about more than the Starhawk, Vanguard, or even the Dockyards. It represents a strike at everything this new Republic represents. What they think they gained at Endor. New Republic. Even the name's a joke. The Republic has never been anything but 10,000 squabbling voices. Though after this, they'll be screaming in unison. Let's show the New Republic for the sham it really is. curious because like apart from the fact that she's not a part of it i wonder how she thinks the imperial senate would actually be any different than the republic seeing as they're both i guess maybe the imperial senate isn't elected but i don't know i'm just going to assume it's because she's not part of it anyways what can we fly a TIE bomber. You're outfitting your bomber to handle New Republic fighters as well as their capital ships. Your loadout is looking good. It'll be even better once we're cleared to give you Beradium explosives. I'll help you out. Multi-lock missile. Always cost one group of ammo, 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 ammo. Ooh, the beam cannon. The beam cannon is very fun. Uh... Can I get repair kits? The Imperial... Oh yeah, no, the Imperial Senate is dissolved, because it was dissolved at, in during A New Hope. Um, but the entire thing is that Sol, Sol wants to bring it back, because her parents were senators, I believe. Um, and so she's like... she's That's what she's trying to use. She's trying to, to move through the ranks and like... move up and gain prestige in order to bring back the idea of... The Imperial Senate. That's why she. That's why before the briefing, she was like, "You know, you're getting a lot of prestige. You know, if I were you, I'd start to think about how I use that. And uh, you know, if it were me, I would maybe, you know, um, I would uh, bring back the Imperial, or I'd bring bring back the um, Imperial Senate. Wink, wink. Uh, I'm going to stick with that." Alright, so we don't have the missiles to take out enemy fighters, but the rotary cannon will, will chew things up pretty good. And then we've got an assault shield. So that'll that'll give us a temporary shield from the front. It's soup it's a very powerful shield. Um and then we've got a beam cannon to just like fire a, a directed laser um at something. It's gonna be a lot of fun to use. I for her to deal with. Oh totally fair. Emergency button shields. Yeah, like they're specifically shields from the front, so, like, they help when attacking, um... Help when atta with attacking, uh... <laughs> like, capital ships, especially. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Bask in the moment. And then massacre your enemy. We're looking forward to it, Captain. General Sindula to Imperial forces, you are trespassing in New Republic space. Leave immediately. This is Captain Carroll of the Overseer. Your Starhawk dies today, as will you. Titan Squadron, attack! With pleasure. All turrets open fire on those ships. Your meager defenses cannot stop us. Titan, eliminate all turrets. Let's give the Overseer a clear path to the Starhawk. Time to kill the main character from uh, Star Wars Rebels. Or one of them. I'm on your wing.
Captain, enemy fighters headed your way. Did you think we wouldn't put up a fight? How you spend your final moments is of no concern to me. Titan, engage. No. Thank me later. You see it? Take it out. I am taking a lot of damage. Let's take cover by a raider. I have your back. That'll help. Appreciate it. To help any characters to do that. I need to reload. It's me, I am the main character. Oh I know where I can, what I can do if I can make it in time. There we go. If you fly up into the hangar during a fight, um, you can automatically repair real quick. Very, very handy. Titan, we're launching Meridian missiles from the Overseer now. Oh, hello, X-Wing. Uh, I want that gone. shield and just okay alrighty that could have gone a lot better but it also could have gone a lot worse through the exit yeah I did not expect it to come right for me Oh, rotary cannons just sound so fucking cool. Back it out. Be careful next time. I had it under control. I had it under control. Shields, yeah. You're wasting your breath. They're dead. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Bastar Haven, Hosnian Prime, De Several, Moncala. History will remember what side you chose. History has I think no sides. TIE bombers in squadrons are pretty overpowered. I think a lot of people complain about them. Just because of the rotary cannon, and I think they're beefy enough just to survive head ons. Understood. I I'm not gonna lie, I don't particularly like the look of the Starhawk. It looks like really generic to me. I guess maybe it's just because it's not painted. Get 
Oh shoot, that's a lot of turrets. Here's the beam, it's pretty cool. Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. That's an A-wing behind me. Really, the only thing I have to be careful with the emergency shield, or the um, assault shield, or whatever it's called, is that it cuts my maneuverability, so I can't steer very well. Did I not? Where's this last hangar? No, that's definitely not it. Oh, it's way over here. I'm not trying to fight the Starhawk. I want to get past it. You would stop me. Enemy locked off. We're done. On my way to the deep one. Not good. Oh my god. Fuck oh, the X-Wing. Um, unfortunately, ramming still goes right through your shields and damages the hull, so... Even with emergency shield, that wouldn't work. Boosting in this game just feels so cool. They did such a good job getting like the drifting right. Another generator destroyed. Good. A 
just selling through the visuals. Oh yeah, like the way like the cockpit doesn't quite catch up with you. The sounds and stuff. That's so good. Oh god. Oh, I guess I don't have to do the optional objective to destroy the hangars, because I did it already. That's a little weird, because it did respawn, but... You know what? I'll take it. Oh no, never mind. Now I gotta get him again. Please? Oh my god, I got resupplied at the exact moment I died. Ah. Okay, well I'm not gonna fly next to the Starhawk this time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna like kind of curve around. Hey, Cargi. Good to see you. Rotor cannon! Enemy fighters are coming from that hangar. Then let's take it out. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I uh saw the game awards. I'm very happy about um Death Stranding 2, obviously, so uh, I think I'm doing pretty good. Ay -ay -ay. I'm not very good at flying TIE Bombers. I think I'm- a part of the problem is is that I am I'm focusing too hard on the objectives, and I really should just break off and either destroy some of these turrets or destroy some of the fighters that are bothering me, and just stop letting them just get free heads on me. This A-Wing fucked up. With the space bombs when you need it. Oh god, I know. Was it another Death Stranding game? Yeah, Death Stranding 2, working title. 
I'm really curious to know what it's going to be all about. Exactly one person will be excited for that, yeah. Oh, uh, but thank you though. I hope I like it too. Much better. Another generator destroyed. Good. Shield generator down. Oh my god. I really wish when I double tapped the switch target button, it would prioritize the one that's currently shooting at me and not just one that has been targeted. Is that a lot to ask for? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, 3%. 1%. Oh my god. Fuck it. <laughs> Reload from the latest checkpoint. We're doing that. Sorry, I am demoting myself to scrub tier. Notice I did exactly zero damage to that structure. Do I have to hit it from the front? I guess I must. Yep. Great, cool.
Okay, Ailing, what the heck do you think you're doing? Oh god. Thank you. The only problem with like popping the assault shield to try and take out fighters is if they like turn, you can't really track them, and so you're just left sitting there with a big shield on your front, and you're like, didn't really plan this thing out very well, did I? Okay, A Wing, I see how it is. Just ram into me. A new, wait, a new Armored Core game? Really? Oh, cool. I did not expect them to actually release anything that wasn't a, uh, a Souls game, but I am definitely excited for Armored Core. I played 4 Answer um, on stream, like, last year, and I was uh, very happy with it, even though it was very difficult. Oh yeah, look at those glowy... We lost Elden Ring, which is just finding out obvious. Yeah, this is a stack here. Oops! I didn't pay attention to the condition of my hull. Don't do that. The rebels are evacuating the station. You came for the Starhawk, not civilians. Let them go. No survivors, Titan Squadron. Captain, they've launched corvettes to cover the civilian escape. Show no mercy. Titan, take out their ships. If you see transports, take them down too. Get out. 
Yay, war crimes. Those are TIE Fighters. Sorry. Flying to the hangar completely upside down. I am fine now that I've gotten a repair. Bonk. When you have the beam active, like, you can barely turn. That was not the smartest maneuver I've ever done. Card that's like, yeah. You Gotta wonder what the Star Destroyer is doing. This Corvette's getting shot at by both a Star Destroyer and two Raider class Corvettes. This thing is like the strongest Corvette ever. I did not think I was gonna- I thought I crashed for a second. I really did think I crashed. I did not think I safely made it into the hangar. Shield, assault shield.
Oh my god, this is the strongest Corvette ever. I've done so many I've done so many gun runs on it. Fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finally. Sounds good. Kind of Corvette made of damn Vascar. Yeah. Like yeesh. We've outfitted your bomber with beryllium explosives. Happy hunting. Now, Titan 3, attack the Starhawk. Do not let it get away. Sure, what am I doing? Starhawk, make your peace. Just. We're leaving. And taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long enough. Today there will be no escape. Titan 3, General Sindula is aboard the Starhawk. Immobilize it, and the Overseer will deliver the killing blow. Starhawk taking fire. Impressive. Hit it again, Titan 3. Okay, we're just shooting warheads into it. We don't really care about where we're shooting them. I would like a repair, please. They got a lock on me. He's gonna dump fire a torpedo. On the mark. They felt that. If you double tap the button on a weapon with a lock on, you can just dumb fire it. Which, considering. Nice shot. No. Starhawk hyperdrive systems are disabled. That we're shooting Starhawk a gigantic target. It's not that hard. Cool, I'm getting out of here. Linden James. Linden <laughs> won't escape this time. And there we go. The Starhawk is limping away. We had them. They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. What could she do with our missile guidance scrambled? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. Anyone else here to talk to? Nope. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. 
Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? Yes, of course. But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. How you doing, Gerald? Protecting the bridge? Yeah, you are. We should begin the briefing. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrila. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. It's Destroy like poetry, prime staff fighters <laughs> attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy.